Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The more details Americans learn about the government takeover of health care proposed by the President and the liberal leadership of Congress, the less support there is for this insane idea. A Washington Post ABC poll shows more than half of this country is opposed to this plan. Yes, support for this crazy deep dive into socialism is fading fast. The nonpartisan CBO says this plan won't reduce the cost, as the President suggested, it will accelerate it, and we know that will kill jobs. This liberal Congress rammed the stimulus and cap and trade, which nobody could read before voting, down the throats of the American people, but they are now fed up and on to their strategy. We don't want DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles style medicine with long waiting lines, delayed care, and skyrocketing cancer death rates as in Canada and the UK. We don't want a system that will bankrupt this country and ignore the elderly, and we sure don't want our tax money paying for abortions. Simply put, we want common sense health care reform, not nonsense health care reform as now proposed. Gentlemen's time has expired.